Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, Tip, Tricks and Tech. Today I'm going to give you a really uh, nice tip on uh, miners. Uh, I, I bought a new miner, this, this is my first miner. This one is Bitman uh, S19J Pro. Uh, it's an ASIC miner. Uh, I'm actually right now doing uh, Bitcoin mining, but you can do Ethereum or other miners on that too. Uh, so I'm going to give you a tip. I'm going to explain uh, everything about that and why did I get it. So let's go dive into that video. Okay guys, so as I mentioned, uh, right now I set up that miner in my garage uh, just because as of temporary setup, because uh, you know this miner need a 220 volt outlet. And that's a major thing uh, you guys have to know because uh, compared uh, to other um, GPU miners, uh, this one needs, ASIC miner need a 220 volt uh, outlets and you need two 220. So I'm gonna explain everything. And uh, so let me show you the, the setup I have right now. Uh, it's in my garage, like I said. Uh, so right now I have, uh, I used to use this to charge my car. This one is 220 volt outlet. I have the NEMA uh, 1450. Then I have uh, uh, another uh, flat plug, which one is 620P. Uh, That's a plug. And I have an extension cord right here. I run through there. Sorry about the mess right here. So this is my miner right here. So if you look at it, it's Ant Miner S19J Pro, like I said. And uh, this is uh, made by Ascension Century Cloud Core Technology Limited. And uh, pretty much just give you a detail, uh, 200 to 240 volt and uh, input. So that's pretty much the deal. And a lot of people get confusion about when you see two plug, they think it's 110 each or 120 each, make it 240, but that's not the case. Each of these plug need 220 volt outlet and it takes about a 15 amp each. So make sure you have enough power when you planning to install this miner right here. And if you look at this side, uh, it's pretty clean. And you need a ethernet cable right here. And that's pretty much it. This one is actually intake fan. And this one is actually the Hestos fan. If you feel it here, you feel really uh, nice and warm. Uh, so it's a basic setup. And uh, I already connected with uh, ethernet cable and uh, run through my uh, main router. Uh, so that's that's my setup right here, right? Uh, so just to make sure that your mine is working properly, if you see that light blinking on normal, if it flashes like that, that means the miner is mining actually. Let me explain a couple of uh, things that you should know if you're getting a miner. Obviously, uh, these miners need a lot of power. So you, it drains about uh, 3,000 watts or 3,100 watts per hour. Uh, so it, 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 it costs me 75 kilowatt hour a day uh, to mine, uh, to run this miner. And it cost me about, uh, about I would say 11 to 12 bucks because I'm paying 15 cents for the, uh, for the electricity, but I have solar. So then it's much cheaper. Uh, 11 to 12 bucks uh, you paying for electricity and uh, you're getting about 35 to $40 um, Bitcoin. And depending on the Bitcoin price and the, when you sell it, things like that. But as of now, I just started uh, three days ago. As of now, I got a, the first day I got a $35, the second day I got a $40 worth of Bitcoin, right? So my profit will be, if you look at like, uh, I probably get maybe 20 bucks uh, on a profit, uh, you know, 20 to 25 bucks on profit. Uh, but to break it even, I paid about a $12,000 for that miner. To break it even, it will take me in a year. So, and there's a lot of risk involved and uh, you know, if any time uh, any, you know, anything can happen to my miner, then uh, you know, I don't know who can fix it and it's not an easy fix or anything like that. So hey, there's a lot of risk involved, but after a year, I'm gonna make free money. You know, I'm gonna get uh, pretty much uh, every day $20. Uh, so that's like, uh, you're looking at <laughs> $200 a week, uh, not a week, uh, in a month, I would say. After, I'm talking about after my electricity. Uh, probably make $25. So let's say it's $25. And depending on the uh, Bitcoin price, if the Bitcoin price goes up, then I get uh, higher. Uh, so if you do the math, I get about $750 after all my uh, expense and all my electricity bills. So that means it's a free money. 
right? So that's the whole point. So one thing if you're getting a miner, you better have a 220 volt high amp outlet. So make sure you have that before even ordering it because I have uh, one of my friend order it thinking that he can place it in his apartment. But what happened? There's no, <laughs> there's no 220 volt outlet. He tried to combine two 110 volt, then his, uh, you know, breaker went off. So he doesn't have a high power in a high amp line, so then he couldn't be able to use it. So that's how I bought it from him. And then I'm hosting it here in my garage right now, but I'm going to moving that one to my basement soon. Then I'm gonna do a video on that, okay? And uh, the noise wise, if you look at the noise, um, it's not really noisy for me. I mean, uh, you know, you can hear right here. I mean, when you mind, sometimes, you know, right now the weather is uh, kind of cold. That's why you don't see that um, uh, fan running. But even if a fan run crazy, uh, it doesn't bother me. I have actually, you know, um, you know, I keep my door open so that I can get some heat from this. So actually, uh, produce pretty, pretty, you know, good heat. So uh, let's say uh, yesterday. I mean, last night was uh, about 40 degrees outside, uh, but uh, inside it was about 80 degree in my garage. So that's a temperature difference and uh, you know so I don't want to waste uh, that uh, heat so what I did was I just opened the uh, garage door there's another garage door the door from the garage to the house so I uh, bought some heat inside to my house uh, so that's what I've been doing you know I don't want to waste the uh, heat uh, and I'm running you know this thing so as, when I make money I'll save money on my heating bill too so hey you know uh, there are pros and cons but I'm enjoying it you know this is uh, just a uh, uh, my trial. I'm just gonna see how it works. I may add another uh, GPU or another ASIC miner too. But you know the price of ASIC miner is going up every day, depending on the price of Bitcoin going up. So hopefully the Bitcoin will go up to 100,000, then it will be better for me. But anyway, so far uh, that's the case, and um, I'm so happy with it. So if you have any question about the miner and things like that, I mean I I didn't want to do a setup video because in the YouTube there's already a setup video, but I was still looking for answer in a YouTube regarding, you know, it's like similar small thing like uh, uh, how many watt it takes and uh, what voltage should be the input and things like that and what uh, a wire, like power cable should I get? Uh, there was no answer. So I thought uh, this will be a good beneficial video for you. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys like this video. If you like this video, please uh, share with your friends, uh, you know, who are, is looking to mine or looking to get out of the miner or things like that. And uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel, consider subscribing. I'll be coming with another video when I move my uh, miner to basement. I'm gonna do a video on that. I'm gonna explain, uh, you know, if you have any questions, please comment it. So I'm gonna explain in the next video. I'll give you all the answers that I know. And I'm new, I'm a rookie here. So, you know, um, you know, I'll, I'll share with uh, what I know, uh, the hash rate. So um, we are getting about 102 uh, mega hash, uh, you know, terahash uh, 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 per minute. I mean, actually live uh, hash rate. That's what we're getting from this machine. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And um, please uh, share with your friends uh, so that it will be helpful for them too. So again, thanks for watching. I'll be coming with another video soon. Till then, me, it's Aldo signing off. Bye-bye.